Hi, my name is Michael Smith. I'm a freelance multimedia journalist and also co-founder of New Reality Networks. So today uh, I wanted to take some time to show you um, how to make your own 360 degree spherical graphics. Um, it's a technology we've been working with for a while, um, but there's now a much simpler way to do this. So I wanted to share that with you. Um, as part of our ongoing project, uh, New Reality Network, which is designed to kind of make um, the transition to 360 degree technology and VR a lot easier for you. So as you can see here with the cursor, um, I'm just going to move around this little image here. And you can see that we've created a 360 degree picture there. Okay, now this will pretty much work for everything and anything. But something to bear in mind before creating your 360 degree image is that you do want something that is not only high resolution um, that you want to use, but you're going to want to make sure that there's a sense of depth to it and also um, that there's this feeling of un unlimited space um, just so that it, it kind of uh, fits. Um, now you'll have to excuse me for the space pun. Uh, I figured that was brilliant graphic to use. So I'm going to jump right into this and show you how we do this. So if you actually go to facebook360.fb.com, you'll see straight away there's actually um, a whole Facebook group and uh, lots of information about how you can uh, mess about with 360-degree photos, how it all kind of works, the technical things from coding, and stuff like that. It's a really useful resource, but um, yeah, to be honest with you, as useful as it is, it's really complicated. And what we're going, to, what I'm going to be showing you, is extremely simple in comparison. So um, on this page, you'll find a link. I think it's slightly down the page. You'll see a link here, and if you click on that link, it will take you to some templates that you can use uh, in Photoshop. So I've already got the link open here on the Dropbox file. And you'll see here there's panorama templates. Um, so you've got different ones here. And you've also got uh, equirectangular equi images as well for those that are working on artistry uh, that might want to create some cool stuff. Um, but the, the one that you're going to be focusing on here really to get started with is this graphic here. So um, this is 6,000 by 3,000 pixels. The metadata is already injected into it, so all you simply need to do is download it. And as you can see in the bottom left hand corner, it's now downloaded that. Uh, I have a image already on my desktop, um, so we're, we're pretty much good to go with it. So you'll see here. So what I'm going to do now is open this with Photoshop. And here we have the same graphic you've just seen. So the next thing I'm going to do is take uh, a picture. Now I showed you the space one, and we'll keep with the space theme, and we'll do it slightly different because this one is has this sense of infinite to it. So all we're going to do, want to do, is stretch out the image over the template and place. Okay, so now we now created our image here. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to save this as uh, a JPEG. And we'll call it, I don't know, let's see, we'll call it infinite space. So there we are. So we're going to save that. Now you want to make sure that this is the highest possible uh, image size. And you're going to want it at the maximum quality. Okay, so we're just going to click on OK. And that's now saved to our desktop. And if we refresh the page, you should see it here. So there we go. There's the infinite space JPEG that we've just created. So now if I go onto my professional Facebook page here, and what we're going to do is we're just going to click on Facebook status. We're going to find that image on the desktop, which is infinite space. And we're going to say this is for test and how to video. Okay, so it's just taking a little while to upload because it is 9.2 megabytes in size. 
and you'll see here that there's that Facebook is recognizing this as a 360 degree image so there we go so now it's pre uh, processed there's a couple of things we can do so we can go into edit 360 degree settings and we've clicked to it's already clicked to display as a 360 degree photo but if you were to have I don't know say a scene and you wanted to select a starting view like here we can just move the cursor to that point and click save okay so that's now going to make sure that we start whenever somebody looks at this image that's the starting point so we're going to publish this and this will now appear on our Facebook page or in this case my Facebook page so we can zoom out and we can look round so you'll notice with this image in comparison to the other one there's barely any stretching lines uh, stitching lines sorry um, so it gives you that infinite space feel it's pretty cool and there's lots of things we can do with this we can manipulate this for custom graphics and all kinds of things so I'm going to show you that next so you can go back into Photoshop and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to delete that layer and we're going to do this with a different image. We're going to use one that we've been using for all our branding on New Reality Networks. And we're just going to stretch this out because this kind of works with colour and stuff. And we're going to place that there. So what we can now do is we can take a graphic with, say, words on it. And um, we can stretch this out a bit. Now, Photoshop has some pretty cool tools. So, what we can actually do is if uh, we right click on it and we go to distort, we can now move the corners of the image. So, if we were to centralize this, we could make it. so that when someone has a look at the middle point they'll see this nice little wedge here and there's some other interesting things you can do with this as well let's see how central we can get it there we go we'll just make this even there we go so now I'm going to place this here and you'll see there there's our image um, we can also include text And we'll just put, I don't know, let's make sure the fonts are high enough size. Uh, I don't, because we're dealing with 6,000 pixels, we can make the font quite big. So we're going to change that to um, 100. And we're just going to type in here, new reality network how to video test and we could probably make this a little bit bigger so I'm going to try and increase that to about 150 yeah, we can go a bit bigger 170 will do okay and um, now we can move this around wherever we like so we've got to bear in mind that we are de dealing with the sphere here so um, and I'll just bring this up for you quickly if we still have it, we don't um, so you've got to bear in mind that this image is actually four parts and they're all going to wrap around so you've got one part here one part here and obviously that's mirrored as well so I won't bog you, bog you down with all the complicated details but the point is that this is a rather simple process and you can get it to work quite easily for you so we're going to save this again as a JPEG and we're going to call this NRN test video graphic okay so let's go back to our Facebook page and we're going to load this one back in here 
So let's just find it on the desktop. There we go. So we've got NRN test physiographic. And we're going to say test again. Test 2. So again, it takes a little while for Facebook to load this up. And so now it's loaded up. We can now edit the 360 degree image. So if you'd imagine, if I'd stretched that right through the middle, it would have just been a sliver. And because we left some space at the top, it didn't quite match with it. So we're going to save the starting view there. And we're going to publish this. And if we now click on the post, you'll now see it's in full 360 degrees. And you can see the text we typed earlier. So you can get really creative with this. Um, and we've used custom, uh, just some pictures that we've grabbed off the internet, screen grabbed, and uh, to test this out. But it is worth noting that if we delete these layers here, So let's just delete these and we'll come back to this we can take a clear graphic just have a block of white and now that's ready for you to do some custom graphics try a different approach let's do some text so we'll say Mike We'll make sure we change this to black. Mike is a journalist conducting 360 degree content tests. Okay, so as you know, Photoshop also has the ability to turn things into 3D. So we click on the 3D button and obviously we've got our, our mapping there of the 3D plane. So we can move this up and down and so as you can imagine we can kind of give it that, that effect. We can pull it forward and out. So I'm going to move this down a bit. And we're just going to place that there. So that's done and dusted. So we know that's good to go. There we go. And we can change the colour here. So we're going to make this a kind of purple just to give you some idea of the 3D effect. And again, we can put uh, custom graphics in there as well, which we can do as we did before. So we can walk these out a little bit. So we're going to distort this and I'm just going to make it kind of look like it pops out of the page. I'm actually going to move this all the way up. And I'm just going to place that there. Okie dokie. So there we have it. So again, this is showing the potential of what you can actively do with just this quick method. It literally can take seconds to do all of this. Now, people might ask um, why you might want to do something for this. Well, these um, these 360 degree pictures would actually work in Premiere Pro as well. So, if you wanted to create a video slideshow using 360 degree, degree graphics, you can absolutely do that. Um, and but the important thing is obviously knowing how to make the graphics in the first place. So you can tell quite interesting stories with that. So we're just going to upload test three, show you this quickly. And we just need to put some text in the status box. Now bearing in mind, obviously this isn't exactly high quality that I'm showing you here because the idea is we want you to kind of go and take this kind of knowledge and get kind of all kinds of creative. So you can see there I've made the 3D text. There's no stitching lines because we've used a white background and it just all kind of wraps. Now if we'd stretched the image out all the way and distorted it, obviously that would have been quite nice and wrapped it. 
the wrapping. And there you have it. So that's how you can create 360 degree um, graphics quite simply without any, too much trouble. And obviously the idea is that we want you to experiment and get creative with these things. So if you do have any uh, questions, obviously please do keep watching this video back. It is on our YouTube channel. It will also be on our website and there will be a written guide for this video um, as well. So thanks for watching and be sure to keep an eye out for more how-to videos in the near future. You will find them on our website. You can also find us on Twitter at New Reality Net and of course on facebook.com forward slash new reality network and give our page a like and subscribe and you'll be able to see all the con great content we do on there um, and find out for yourself how to make 360 degree um, VR content. Thanks and keep tuned to New Reality Network.